Hi, my name is Gail Butler. My book, Crystal and Gemstone Divination, provides detailed information on the types of stones used and the various kinds of readings you may want to do for yourself and others. In this video, I'll give you a brief overview of how to do a nine stone layout for a weekly self-reading or a reading you'll give to someone else. Remember, for self-readings, you'll close your eyes and allow your fingers to intuitively find and select the stones that you lay upon the mat. When reading for others, allow the querist to be visually and intuitively attracted to stones he or she will select to place upon the mat. You may also choose to read for others at a distance. The intelligences of the mineral realm are not bound by the limiting concepts of time and space. To begin, allow the querist to select nine stones to place upon the mat. While seemingly random, the selections of the stones, where they are laid on the mat, their groupings, and the time spent selecting the stones all have meaning and add richness to interpreting a reading for yourself and for others. In this sample reading, I've selected nine stones to read to give an illustration of the process. The pad itself contributes to the reading. The edges of the pad nearest the querist, who generally sits across from the reader, indicate present and soon to manifest issues. Stones laid along the vertical edges tend to be edge issues of limited concern. If a querent places all of the stones along the edges in a linear fashion, it may mean that he or she tends to sideline important issues rather than dealing with them. Stones laid along the farthest edge from the querist, which would be nearest the reader, are issues further into the future. Stones laid into the center of the pad are those of issues of greatest concern to the querist. In this reading, it appears that there's two groups that possibly are related to one another. We have red jasper, which is always passion. It could be love, it could be hate, but it always indicates a high degree of passion. We have amigraine, that is a stone of major life change and transformation. We have fossilized dinosaur bone, which has to do with the earning of money or wages, or possibly sometimes awards. We have unakite, a stone of anxiety and stress. Citrine indicates a yes answer and also positive changes, new beginnings. Fluoride indicates that a person has a high degree of expertise in some area and possibly could turn that towards a money-making venture. We have a second group that's likely related to the first group. We again have another amigraine, big life change transformation. We have lined agate. That has a meaning of conflict. And we also have rhodonite, whose meaning is attaining one's heart's desire. So it appears from this reading that the querist is embarked on a major life change. It could be the beginning of a new business of some kind or investment issue. And it looks as though that she's brought her passion to bear, her expertise. She will experience a little bit of stress and anxiety in the manifesting of this life's goal. But she's going to make a new beginning at it and she has a positive answer to any questions she might have about starting this issue. And she's going to make money at it. In this second grouping, the lined agate indicates there will be some conflict, but again, major life change, and she will attain her heart's desire. This is a very positive reading for the querist, and she's being advised by the mineral realm to go ahead in the next video, I'll address how to use the stones to answer specific questions and how to do a health reading for yourself and others. Thank you for watching.